and good day to all of you and welcome to the new topic which is radon transform in seismic data processing so in this lecture we are going to learn what is radon transform and how does it apply and we will also look some of the real example uh, using radon transform so let's look at what is radon transform so if you look at the definition of radon transform so it is actually a mathematical techniques that has been widely used in seismic data processing and also it is used in image analysis so what it what it do actually this is this will typically transform your data such as like you are doing in fk transform so it is also doing a similar task but it is converting our data from space and time domain which is called xt and it will convert into tau p domain so which is tau is your travel time and p is your slowness so where it is modify and then transform back into xt or time distance domain again so let's look at the some some graphical example but actually how it actually works so as i mentioned tau p transform is actually is a conversion from time domain let's say we have the short gather or cmp gather so it convert the radon transform into tau p domain which is tau is your intercept time and p is your slowness which is actually inverse of your velocity which is second per meter so if you look at the graphical example so over here on the top we can look at the um, tx domain so normally we have the time intercept time and we have the offset but when we convert into uh, our tau p domain which is t is your time and slow and on the y-axis you have the slowness if you look at the figure below so on the y-axis we still have the time which is normally in the case but on the x-axis it is actually convert from it is actually an offset but the data looks like how your slowness work i mean how uh, you have the inversion of the velocity so when you have the faster increase the slowness will be faster when you have increase in velocity but it will be slower when you have increase in slowness so it means this uh, increase in slowness means you will have higher velocity so this is lower velocity and higher velocity so that is the representation how the data looks like in tau p domain so again when we come to the radon transform and actually what it does it we search for coherent waveform along the particle travel time curve and there are three common implementation so one is to remove the linear events then we have the hyperbolic event or uh, actually it's used the transform so linear radon transform parabolic um, radon transform and we have the hyperbolic radon transform so why do we use this type of different um, transform actually when we are looking at the resolution which is severely affected by the amplitude variation and also sometimes aperture so in in that case uh, this ability to this have the ability to distinguish even with similar move out so let's say for uh, reflection also you have a different move out when even when we are looking at the short gather data so it will differentiate between the similar event or similar move out and also it has the implementation can cop with the aperture problem but not with avo obviously we are not looking at amplitude versus offset but we are looking at the short gap but when we have the avo then it could be modeled by model but uh, might be expensive and hard to param parameterize for processing large batch of data so when we have a lot of data then obviously it is more expensive and it is not suggested to do radon transform so then now we look at the uh, different uh, sort of um, variants 
like time variant and time invariant transform so if you look at the parabolic and linear which means it is has the time invariant so it's been never changing the time when we have the hyperbolic events then it means it's we have the time variant so th there will be a ch time changes so in general time variant transform lead to the fast algorithm with operator and tuples form as well so there are different type of radon transform which is one of them is slant stack beam forming fan filter is filtration and also tau p transform so now the focus of this lecture will be tau p transform so if you look at the mathematical equations or how we can drive the um, radon integration travel time path so over here on the top we have the uh, for the linear events we have the uh, radon transform in here we have the t is a travel time ta is your t minus px and then we have the q is move out and h is over distance and similarly we have the different equation or the similar equation for parabolic because these are never changing or it's time invariant but when we are looking at the hyperbolic radon transform so over here the equation will be changed and we are looking at this one so the features are similar then but the equation will be changed but then the last equation which is normally called the hyperbolic apex shift and sometimes it is also a post tech migration algorithms is also known as like this one so now we look at the um, tau p transform and try to understand how does it look like so i'm going to show one of the example from society of um, seismic expression project so over here you can see the data which looks in time domain which is time versus distance so but when we transform into tau p so over here you can see how your reflected event which is horizontal event or we can call it linear events are like this one so it remains like here but obviously the slowness is high over here or it's actually the slowness is low but the velocity is high so it appears to be on this direction so the blue again we have this one then we have this one but the time never changing and similar way on the right side we have an event with horizontal reflection hyperbola and first um, first arrival so when we convert this data into tau p domain so you can see your reflection appears to be here which is time never changing time then the hyperbola is time is changing of this is this appears to be parabola and then we we have the first arrival which is coming here so now we look at the uh, linear radon transform so in linear or parabolic radon transform so we know that there is no it's a time invariant so it's been never changing the time so here i will show you one example from the synthetic data so let's say we have the short gather data here uh, which is this one actually distance and you have the time and over here we have three even one is horizontal then slightly dipping and highly dipping even so when we look at the uh, radon transform this data so it appears to be like this so you can see the linear event which is over here it's never changing the time and then even this is also a dipping reflector but it's a linear so obviously there will be no changing time but obviously this the slowness is low then obviously it's going to be like this one but let's say in this data you want to remove your linear event so because of linear radon transform so over here you can see after we apply the linear radon transform so you can get the only dipping reflectors so like this one <laughs> then the second one is hyperbolic radon transform so it is also equal to time variant uh, radon transform so when we have the event so this is a short gather data so you can see here we have some prime d and these are the hyperbol hyper hyperbolas so obviously the primaries are this one this comes here and the hyperbolic move out appears to be here so when we remove using the hyperbolic radon transform so we can get only the hyperbolas over here on the right side 
So you can see how beautifully it can remove. If you are looking at the time section, obviously it is quite complicated for you to remove or filter out this events but in redon transform you have the beauty of removing keeping whatever events you want then last but not least the parabolic redon transform so over here also you can see um, in linear or parabolic transform so we have time invariant so sorry it is should be parabolic so over here you can see the horizontal reflection which is coming this blue is over here this one here and when we remove this horizontal reflection which is from here then we can preserve only the parabolic redon transform or parabolic events from here so uh, now we look at the application where this redon transform or tau p domains can be used in seismic expression so the first application uh, of redon transform is for multiple separation like you have the multiples in your data set so you can remove this type of event or you want to preserve you can do it separately the second application of redon transform is time variant dipping filtering so the event which are time variant and dipping as well so you can remove this type of events like you're looking for fractures the fault or this type of thing then you can you can also work on redon transform and third objective of uh, the application of uh, this uh, redon transform is trace interpolation so let's say if you have the e two events and the third event in between is mis missing so then you can do the interpolation using redon transform then uh, we can also have the application of redon transform in refraction inversion then uh, we can use the redon transform application in velocity analysis further we can do the migration before stacking as well which is the last equation which was shown in the previous slides so uh, now if you look at the summary of this uh, tau p uh, transform so actually it is an unstacked seismic record or a common midpoint gather which can be described in term of slope uh, slope in dt over dx which is equal to intercept which is uh, denoted as a p and intercept time is uh, sorry this uh, this slowness is in slope is this and p is your slowness and intercept time is star and the travel time obtained by projecting the slope back to the x is equal to zero where x is source of the geophone distance and the transform process is called the slant stack and the redon transform and the plane wave decomposition and filter filtering can be also done on the tau p maps and the filter result transform back into a record so the negative effect offset negative offsets can be padded with zero to avoid un wrap around problem so so in summary just to summarize and uh, key message for you is to so tau p transform or the redon transform redon transform is a method and we can do in tau p domain so this is the easiest task or easier way of removing noise noises even in short gather data or in offset gather data or any type of uh, domain we can apply this tau p transform and redon transform from linear hyperbolic parabolic even to remove okay with that's all uh, i think uh, i hope you will you have enjoyed this lecture and thank you so much and have a good day